Aliens from outer space have long captured our imaginations, and there are countless conspiracy theories with wild ideas, as well as countless History Channel theories that range from interesting to completely ridiculous. However, some theorists are convinced that we are looking in the wrong place for aliens. They don't think we're likely to find them in space, because most of them are actually here in order to get the water we have, or study it or something, and when they do come through space, it's only to simply dive into our oceans, where their real bases reside. And that's what we're considering in today's video. Number 10. An alleged sighting of multiple UFOs making an ocean rendezvous Last year, rumors started to break about a military report that had been made about a series of alleged incidents that occurred off the coast of California in 2004. The reports claim that over the course of two weeks, the U.S. military came into contact with multiple AAVs, or anomalous aerial vehicles. These used incredibly high speeds and cloaking technology for evasion. The vehicles could drop from a stunning height of 60,000 feet to only 50 feet in a matter of seconds. And the military could simply not pin them down and could barely keep track of them using even their best technology. Pilots who tracked the vehicles claimed to see disturbances in the water near where the AAVs, some of which seemed as large as a football field and similar to a submarine, were heading, either emerging or submerging from the ocean's surface. These disturbances always cleared up quickly before they could get a better look. And those who reported these things often got ridiculed, despite the official reports taking the whole thing quite seriously. The interesting question is, if this was real, and if it was some kind of extraterrestrial being, what exactly was happening? The pilots were only able to get quick glimpses, and the AAVs used incredible cloaking technology and high speeds. This leaves the question of whether the AAVs were simply meeting with something coming up from the surface, or the cloaking confused the pilot and the disturbance was actually caused by the AAV traveling down beneath the ocean, perhaps to rendezvous with a secret alien base. Less fantastic explanations have suggested new government technology, and it's unclear which government, Wakanda perhaps, but if the story is true, it is certainly quite fantastic, as there were submarines in the area, and their best detection equipment could not find any activity from any underwater vehicles aside from their own. Number 9. The alleged crystal pyramids that are lurking deep underwater in the Bermuda Triangle This is one that has unfortunately taken in quite a lot of people recently, partly because of a documentary that was made to go along with the tale. The documentary is made to look somewhat older and suggests the discovery was made some time ago and the government has been covering it up. It claims that a Dr. Maya Verlag was with a team of American and French researchers in the Bermuda Triangle when they discovered a beautiful crystal pyramid three times the size of the Pyramid of Heops. In one of the documentaries about this, they claim to even have found a crystal ball they brought back from the pyramid that has unexplained powers. However, the truth is that the entire thing is a fabrication meant to fool the gullible. There is no Dr. Mayer Verlag in the team of researchers, not to mention the entire expedition never existed. There is no evidence whatsoever of a crystal pyramid or of any other such expedition or discovery on record, and no particular reason a government would cover up such a find anyway. Of course, the silliest part is that in the story, the oceanographer claims that this pyramid could explain all the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle, when a real oceanographer would know there is nothing special at all about the region, and all of the spooky stories are basically folklore. Of course, it goes without saying that many conspiracy theories will choose to believe it anyway, and are convinced the entire thing was made by ancient aliens, and any attempt to disprove it is just proof of a government cover-up. Number 8. Octopuses are actually alien beings from another world brought here on a meteorite. Many people look to outer space for alien beings, but some are convinced that they're actually here and just hiding deep beneath the ocean, the hardest place for us to get at them. Recently, a group of 33 researchers published a scientific paper suggesting a couple of interesting possibilities for octopuses. They claim that either a meteorite carrying alien DNA crashed and somehow mutated some squids into octopuses, or that fertilized eggs of some kind were actually brought here on a meteor long ago and helped seed the world with octopuses. They claim that the octopus traits appeared far too quickly, and that with its incredible intelligence and so many adaptive traits, it must not be of this world. Other scientists are quite skeptical of these claims, and reasonably so. While the researchers in the paper argue that octopuses evolved from where they were as squids too quickly, Others say they have figured out the octopus genome well enough that the timeline makes sense without any kind of strange intervention of the alien variety. 
Those who criticize the paper also point out that none of the authors who contributed to it are trained zoologists or marine biologists, which does somewhat throw their theory and reasoning into question. However, whether there is any truth to their claims or not, it's not a new theory that life on Earth originally came from somewhere else. Number 7. Atlantis is a real place, with an actual race of aliens living in an underwater domed city. There are a lot of interesting ancient myths out there, but some of them have easily traceable roots. The legend of Atlantis is actually one of the less ancient ones, and recently researchers have figured out that the entire thing is a bunch of baloney. The truth is that Atlantis was a made-up city and a made-up name that Plato came up with for a morality tale that he was using in his teachings. Atlantis never appears anywhere else, and there are no historical records of it before that because it never existed. However, this has not stopped conspiracy theorists from continuing to believe in the legend and connect it to, well, everything imaginable. Some people are convinced that because of an ancient tablet talking about Thoth the Atlantean, that there is a real Atlantis, and if nothing else, the talk of it not existing is another cover-up by the government. Of course it is. They believe that Thoth the Atlantean was a powerful alien being from another planet, and that his people ruled over the early humans and used them with the help of their technology to build the pyramids. Then there was a great natural disaster, so for some reason they decided to live in a domed city deep under the ocean instead. Of course, even by ancient alien standards, most of this really doesn't make any sense. But that still doesn't stop a large portion of alien conspiracy theorists from believing it, or some version of it. Number 6. The Bermuda Triangle is being covered up big time by the government and the media. One of the biggest legends to take a huge hit in recent times is the legend of the Bermuda Triangle. For years, it was the go-to place to bring up creepy, unexplained disappearances and was a trope used in all kinds of media. But its popularity has died down, because it turns out that the Bermuda Triangle is really nothing at all. The Triangle is only a quasi-official area to begin with, made up of the roughly triangular area between Miami, Puerto Rico and, you guessed it, Bermuda. The insurance company of record for anything naval, Lloyds of London, has never recognized the Bermuda Triangle as anything especially dangerous for insurance purposes, and the United States Coast Guard's review of the area has found no evidence that there are any higher occurrences of naval or plane accidents in the area than any other part of the ocean. Despite this, there are theorists who simply will not give up on this one, and they are convinced that there is still something going on in the Bermuda Triangle. In their minds, the government's strong insistence that there is nothing at all special about the area is only even more evidence that there is something crazy going on there, and the government just wants to cover it all up. And that, of course, is because there is alien life in the Bermuda Triangle. Stop hiding it, government! Number 5. Dolphins are extra-dimensional and are here to guide humans back to the oceans. There are a lot of crazy alien theorists out there, but Aros Christos has to beat them all. He claims that many years ago, when he was a boy in the 1950s, his spaceship landed in Sweden. He lived much of his life there until he eventually found himself living on a beach in California in the early 90s. He started thinking about dolphins, and apparently it all started making sense to him. Aros believes that he has the ability to telepathically communicate with dolphins and that he is a dolphin ambassador on land. Now, we don't currently have any proof that Aros has ever done any hallucinogenic drugs, but we're going to go ahead and assume that the answer there is a big, fat, oh, yes. Now, he says he has a message for us from the dolphins, which he believes is very important. The dolphins, you see, are actually extra-dimensional beings who are only taking on the form of a dolphin. While this sounds like the typical ramblings of an older hippie or someone who has read too much Douglas Adams, he also claims that the dolphins' most important message is that they are trying to get us to go back to the ocean. Of course, how we intend to pull this off is rather questionable. Millions of years of evolution has made us, you know, land creatures, and it wouldn't be practical to simply go back to being water animals. Obviously, this theory is, let's say, rather unlikely, and dolphins, although highly intelligent, are probably not aliens or extra-dimensional gods from another world sent to drag us back to the oceans. Number 4. Jellyfish are actually alien beings as well, and some have lived for eons. 
Jellyfish are one of the strangest and most dangerous creatures in the world. When they wash up on the beach, their stingers can be incredibly toxic to humans, and as they continue to overpopulate the oceans, they threaten to harm the environment for us while still keeping it in a way that they can thrive. Their gelatinous structure and strange way of eating that basically involves enveloping their prey is a great way to survive underwater, but it has also stirred the imagination that there is something very odd about them, something not quite of this earth. This has been furthered by how little we really understand about them, how many new, crazy, and sometimes gigantic species we find, and how some of them, like the Benjamin Button jellyfish, are functionally immortal. Some theorists are convinced that jellyfish are alien beings, and that likely many of the bigger ones are highly intelligent and have been living deep under the ocean for countless ages. In fairness, it's not entirely unbelievable that certain jellyfish have more intelligence than we imagine. Maybe they just don't communicate in a way that syncs up with us biologically, whether they're from Earth or not. Considering how long many of them have lived, it's plausible that they could have evolved great intelligence or even self-awareness of some kind. Number 3. Man abducted by greys claims the greys are living under the water and researching. The stories of grey aliens who abduct people and experiment on them, sometimes tagging them the way we would tag an animal before releasing it, have been around for as long as alien folklore itself. In some of these stories, the person has barely any memory, if any at all, of the experience, except perhaps for a flying saucer and a bright light. But some people claim to have vivid memories of incredible otherworldly experiences during grey alien abductions. One man claimed that he was walking on a beach on the coast of the Black Sea in Georgia when an alien spaceship approached and forcefully took him aboard. He saw diagrams of some of our aquatic animals, such as dolphins and octopuses, and the aliens explained that they often took some of these animals back to their own planet in order to make more of them and study them further. The greys were regularly prowling our oceans to study many things, but their most important goal was to figure out a way to bring greater quantities of water back to their own planet, where they had a great need for it. They showed him the vision of their planet that had green skies, skyscrapers far greater than ours, and lifespans of thousands of years. Despite this advanced technology and ability to travel great distances, they still apparently are not advanced enough to properly transport enough of our water to their planet, because apparently that would be really complicated. Number 2. MH370 was actually dragged underwater by aliens for some mysterious reason. MH370, the Malaysian airplane that disappeared a few years ago, captured the imagination of the entire world. Dozens of theories of increasingly outlandish style were thrown into the mix in trying to figure out what had happened. People have suggested suicide by the pilot, an extra passenger up to something sneaky, the United States or another government like the Russians shooting down the plane, or even the North Koreans or ISIS managing to capture it, lock, stock, and barrel so they could use it against someone later. While these theories can get pretty crazy, the strangest of all is that it was done by aliens. Some people truly believe that aliens doing it is a reasonable theory, and the fact that bits of wreckage ended up in the ocean has, if anything, only added fuel to the conspiracy theorists' fire. These theorists are already convinced that many aliens live under the sea, so if they did decide to take down the plane, that is more than likely where the pieces would have ended up. The bigger question, even for the sake of this theory, is why they would do it. Despite many different claims that they might have, no one seems to have ventured a very good reason as to why aliens would simply decide to make a plane full of people just up and disappear. Number 1. There are claims of secret alien bases deep underneath the ocean. Back in the early 90s, a man named Vladimir Azhaza was allegedly given a blue folder on alien reports by the Russian military by a former cosmonaut named Pavel Popovich. This folder claimed all sorts of UFO monitoring and had some truly shocking materials, if they were true, that is. It claimed that 50% of UFO activity was in oceans and another 15% in lakes. So UFOs seem to really have an affinity for water, which could explain why they are so interested in our planet to begin with. There are also allegedly alien bases on Earth and even some deep under the ocean. One particular group of aliens, allegedly from an ancient sister planet to Earth named Phaeton, that was destroyed in a nuclear explosion, have multiple bases both on Earth 
and throughout the solar system. When interviewed in a Ukrainian magazine in 2006, Popovich claimed that the aliens had a base on Saturn, one in a trench in the Indian Ocean, one in the Himalayas, and one in the Andes that they shut down long ago because they were afraid humans would find it and foul things up. Of course, there are many reasons to be skeptical of his stories. He could have deliberately been asked to spread false information by the Russian government after all, or more likely, he may just have been delusional and looking for attention. The stories are incredibly fantastic and provide almost too much information. It seems unlikely that he would know so much about them if he hadn't had closer contact and communication with them, something he said didn't happen. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe. Also, why not check out our other channel? It's called Biographics. You'll find a link to that on the screen now as well as in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.